We begin this afternoon with the growing trouble at Michigan's border crossings. Those massive backups extending now to a second bridge. Thank you for joining us this afternoon for Action News at 5. I'm Glenda Lewis. And I'm Brian Abel. Truckers trying to avoid that blockade of protesters in Canada at the Ambassador Bridge, finding a nasty surprise at the Blue Water Bridge. We have live pictures for you now from Chopper 7 over the Port Huron area. The backups just stretch on and on. Drivers telling us they're facing delays of five to seven hours. Their options running out. This coming after yesterday's horrendous backups at the Ambassador Bridge. International traffic from the U.S. to Canada is still closed. Some frustrated drivers now taking the hours long trek to Buffalo to avoid the mess. 7 Action News reporter Darren Cunningham is live in Port Huron tonight and is hearing from truckers about the delays. Darren, what are they saying? Yes, good afternoon to you. Now, this behind me here, what you see here, this is what truck drivers are continuing to deal with. A bottleneck here on the Blue Water Bridge. Now, the lanes on the other side leading into the U.S. look to be moving smoothly, but it's when these truckers are heading back over into Canada where it becomes a real inconvenience. I spoke with several who feel that way. One of them actually said he's all for it. A backup on the Blue Water Bridge heading from Port Huron into Canada. We caught up with some of these truckers who first made a stop at Love's Truck Stop before getting in line to head across, braving the backup. How long have you been trucking? 35 years. You ever seen anything like this? Not this bad. Canadian trucker Gordon Connell says 9-11 is the first and last time he's seen lines and delays come close to this. Yesterday, he says it took him six hours to cross the Ambassador Bridge, which he also was originally scheduled to travel across today. But the Ambassador is closed for the day, leaving his load of auto parts few options. As of this morning, our company had 27 or more trucks stuck on this side of the border from yesterday. So we have customers that aren't getting their loads and they're wondering why. The reason? A protest in Ottawa, also popping up in Windsor. Canadian police say demonstrators are intentionally causing the backups. They oppose their government's vaccine mandates. With the ambassador shut down for the day, it's led to a slow crawl on the Blue Water Bridge. Canadian trucker Jim McNutt says he sympathizes with the demonstrators. Yeah, it's all about our civil, uh, our liberties and uh, uh, our civil rights. You know, we're, we're being mandated to death. So these backups, you're willing to wait? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Truckers tell us the amount of time they can be on the road is limited. They have to rest before they can keep traveling, which can result in them losing money and delayed shipments for businesses. The ripple effect felt throughout Metro Detroit. We also spoke with Love's Truck Stop General Manager. Just been crazy. We um, bought three times the business that we've normally had on, on this time of the week. Um, just a lot of trucks looking for places to eat and places to sit so they can get going. Now coming up at 6 o'clock, we will hear from Sarnia Police. Sarnia, the city right on the other side of the bridge here, on the other side of the border, and what they're seeing from protesters. For now, live in port here on Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News. All right, Darren, thank you.